Hey guys, Future Curtis here. Um, I'm editing up this video now. Um, we are playing RDR2. Um, my mic was not on during the first part of this video. It is on later. So I just wanted to add this bit of intro. We will see you guys then. Peace. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. <laughs> Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. Come on, get up here! Why are we Alrighty guys, well, welcome. Just realized my mic was not working. So, I had an intro planned for this, I'm gonna have to redo that. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't an old Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You all right, Arthur. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Alright, Charles, is where are we heading to? There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Let's look down this way. Give him some nade. 
The wind's died down, too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. No, shh. Stay quiet. Very true. Can you tell? What the hell did he just do? You're all right, boy. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. Use the bow I gave you. I had the fucking bow you gave me. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. See the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. A nice white tail doe. Perfect shot. Oh, I never said it was a good shot with a bow. It's dead now. Okay, that'll do it. Oh, wow, that is that is very graphic. Okay, okay wow. Well. I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. You awake back there? Yeah, just thank you. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Black water mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Oh, watch it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. 
Most do do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. So, that's, that's an interesting combination. How long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things. Him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. That saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. 20 years working for Dutch Van Vanderlyn. Whew. How's that new horse? <clears throat> He's alright. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but... He loves that. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Oh wow, look at the freaking snow on the deer. Oh wow, that's cool. Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. <laughs> I gotta hitch my damn horse. Pick up the deer. Go to Pearson. Well, well, well. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. You find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. He loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> She's saying it does. Yeah. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Damn, I wish it was that easy in real life. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these and sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna cut it off there. Thanks for watching. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave it a like.
Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. To your left is going to be the video YouTube thinks is best for you. And to the right is going to be my little dude in the corner. Click that. Subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.